Hopefully this means I'm back fully, but uh, you never know with my health issues. Godzilla Minus One is the latest Godzilla film from Toho Studios, directed by Takashi Yamazaki, starring Ryu Nozuke Kamiki and Minami Hamabe. And I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Um, I probably always have been, at least since uh, my elementary school days. Uh, I've always loved watching Godzilla films, all those older ones. You know, Godzilla vs. King Kong, Godzilla vs. Mothra, all those classics, uh, including the original, obviously. And I've also enjoyed the MonsterVerse uh, from Legendary. And when I saw that Toho was making another Godzilla film, I was interested. I was afraid my local theater would not get it. My local theater got it. I saw it the weekend it came out, but um, I've, I've had so much stuff going on in my personal life. But I'm finally getting around to doing a review of it, so here we are. Let's talk about Godzilla Minus One. And starting off with the good, there's a lot to love in this movie. First of all, you have uh, Ryu Nozuke Kamiki. Uh, he's the main character in the movie, and I really loved his performance here. I thought he was a very likable character, and I loved his performance and his chemistry with everybody he shares the screen with. And I love the character arc that he goes through. I'll get to that a little bit more when I talk about the thematic elements of the film. But I really love the character arc he goes through. And I thought it paid off very well in the third act. And then you have uh, Minami Hamabe. And she's uh, another really great character in this movie. I really loved her chemistry with uh, Ryu Nozuke's character. And I just really loved her character here. Um, she's not in it as much as Rina Nozuke, but she's still really good with the screen time that she's given. And like I said, her chemistry with Rina Nozuke is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I feel like her performance is just as great as his performance. And I feel like her character really balances out his character and what he's going through. And then aside from those two, you get a really great cast of characters here. Just about every human character in this movie is likable and relatable in a different way than all the others. I really loved how every human character in this movie was handled. I love how they all kind of have their own arc. They all have their own backstory. And most of them get him, get their backstory at least semi-fleshed out. And yeah, I really loved every character in this movie. But obviously this is a Godzilla movie, so the main focus is going to be the big guy himself, Godzilla. And let me tell you, Godzilla in this movie has never looked better. I loved this portrayal of Godzilla. I thought that he was intimidating. He was terrifying. Uh, I really loved the way his powers were utilized in this movie. I love how his atomic breath was handled. Instead of just being something he can use over and over. It's one concentrated blast that he has to charge up. Kind of like the Death Star beam, honestly. That, that's what it felt like. Godzilla's rampage scenes are just absolutely fantastic and hearing that classic Godzilla theme in a Toho Godzilla film on the big screen I'm sorry but the Godzilla fan in me was absolutely freaking out it was amazing to hear that on the big screen and it's something that a lot of people have pointed out already but uh this movie was made on a less than $15 million budget. And it looks way better than just about every big budget CGI film that has come out this year. The CGI in this movie is better than the CGI in The Flash. That's not a very high bar because the CGI in that movie was absolutely terrible. But um, either way, the CGI in this movie, the visual effects are fantastic fantastic and I love uh, everything about them and obviously this is a Godzilla movie but 
I feel like the character work in this movie really carries it. Um, as with a typical Godzilla film, you don't get the whole movie with Godzilla. He shows up really as a force of nature uh, sporadically throughout the film. He's in it more than the 2014 Godzilla. Don't don't get me wrong, but um, it it's really a character driven film, and I love the thematic elements that they tackle in this film as well. Uh, you get uh, the main the main character. He's dealing with survivor's guilt. He was supposed to be a kamikaze pilot during World War II. Um, he did not go through with it and he was on the island when Godzilla attacked and killed a lot of people that he was in contact with and the whole movie is really about him overcoming his survivor's guilt him trying to find a new purpose in life and I really love that and the thematic elements that it entails and like I said I feel like it uh, left off with a really well-earned and very satisfying conclusion for the character at the end of the movie and something that I would love to see explored in a sequel should they decide to make a sequel to this movie but uh, yeah I really love that the score obviously is great uh, I've already talked about the visual effects and how impressive they were uh, I just love this movie and I really hope it gets a sequel because it does end with a bit of a tease for a sequel so should they go that route I would definitely be down for a sequel but uh, yeah that's about all for the good on to the bad and really there's no bad here there there's just not so uh, on to the final thoughts I love this movie um, this is easily one of the best of the year for me, and I'm so glad that it is winning at the box office. Now, it's not first place at the box office, but it is making a lot of money, and it is drawing a big crowd. And I'm so happy about that, because this movie deserves every bit of praise it can get. Godzilla Minus One is one of the best Godzilla movies ever made. I cannot wait to own it on Blu-ray. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. So that was my thoughts on Godzilla Minus One. Have you seen this movie? Let me know down in the comments what you thought about it if you have seen it. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.